G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel, and wow, what a milestone we've hit. We've just crossed the 1000 subscriber mark, and I'm beyond grateful for each and every one of you. Your support, your comments, your likes, they all mean the world to me. Let's get straight into it. Alright, let's dive into something that I get asked about a lot, my Fortnite settings. To start off, I use 500 DPI on my mouth, and this allows me to mainly use my arm instead of my wrist to aim. Now diving into the general settings, I play on full screen, 1920 by 1080. I don't have V-Sync on as that cap caps your FPS at 60. I play at 144 FPS due to the fact that I don't have a monitor that can see higher than that yet. Wait, I'm cooking something up in the background. I play on uh, performance mode, then jumping into the graphics subcategory, um, I play on 100% brightness. I don't know what this is, but probably don't use it if I don't use it. <laughs> um, I play on, uh, I don't know how to say that, Taranto. Anyway, I play on Taranto uh, with 10 strength, which is the max it can be. I feel like it just gives the game a little bit more of a bright look, as you can tell. When you turn it all the way down to 5, it just doesn't look as good. I'm putting it back up to 10 now. Moving on to the graphics quality. Um, I have my 3D resolution at 100. I have this off. Um, my view distance is set to epic. Textures are usually set to epic. I don't know why it's at that. And then my meshes are set to high. So then when you go into advanced graphics, I've got show FPS on, report performance stats disabled. Moving over to the volume, I've got my main at 41. My music is at 36. My sound effects at 50. Or my dialogue at 25, because realistically, who wants to hear dialogue anyway? The voice chat is at 54, which usually I have turned down lower because I don't like to hear my mates yap. The cinematics are at 50, and the picture in picture is at 50. I've got sound quality set to high. I've got notifications only as background noise. I don't worry about that, but visualize sound effects I have on, and then here's my input or output, and then the voice chat setting. I'm not sure that doesn't really matter that much. Okay, for movement, I've got toggle sprint on, um, auto open doors, I should have on, um, mantle activation, hold jump, uh, hurdle activation, press jump, and then you can have a quick geese over these if you're curious about what I have set here. Um, I have turbo building on, of course, and then for auto confirm edits, I have the set to both, which is a change I've only made recently. I was only using this one, wait, no. I was only using this one for a while, and then I realized that it's just much superior to do this way. I'm sure this... Yeah, uh, but I'll scroll through this if you really want to know. Just have a look at that. Okay, moving on to my HUD options. I play on um, 60 HUD scale. Um, not really much to say about this. Just leave everything on. It's pretty default, but I'll just scroll through it just in case you want to copy it exactly. I have no clue what it got gyro option is okay now for the good stuff my x axis sensitivity i have got set to 8.9 and my y axis sensitivity i've got set to 9.5 so as i've said earlier in the video i use very low dpi so when i'm playing i literally use my whole arm on my mouse pad i literally use the whole space on the mouse pad to play i don't know why i've just always preferred to have like a lower sensitivity and then be able to control where my aim is more okay and then for building sensitivity i've just got it set to 100 editing sensitivity i've just got it set to 100 and then i'll just provide these in case you want to copy them as well okay now moving on to the key binds uh, this is just all the basic movement stuff and then for my sprint i have it set to my second mouse button and then my auto run set to equal um Anything else interesting in here? Okay, so my building slots, I'll just scroll down to that. I have F as my wall, X as my floor, Q as my stairs, C as my roof, and T as my trap. Um, moving on, G is my edit, and then I also recently set up this as well, which is scroll wheel reset, as you guys, if you guys didn't know. But I was just using it so you had to press G and then you had to scroll, but apparently it's supposed to be where you can just look up to the wall and just scroll and it will reset. And I had no clue that that existed. So shout out to my friend for putting me on. Pause. 
just scrolling through these other ones really quickly if you want to copy them you can yeah i'm sure you don't care too much about the falcon scout binds <laughs> okay and then obviously i don't use a controller but if i ever do this is my settings <laughs> And yeah, presets, and I'm not going onto that last slide because that's got private information about my stuff. Okay, well, um, I appreciate you guys for tuning into this um little quick settings tour. Um, I appreciate all the support that I've been getting recently. I'm not even gonna lie, one K subs is crazy. I had I did not think I was gonna be able to make it by the end of this year, but it's for me right now. It's the first of. 2024 and i'm already at almost 1050 like that's just insane to me um also don't forget to use code rocket 999 in the item shop uh i would appreciate all the support wait i'll look i'll just show you here <laughs> don't forget to use code rocket 999 in the item shop it doesn't matter about capitalization but yeah uh, i appreciate you guys for tuning into this video um thank you if you stayed this far in the video, I thought I'd treat you with a little bit of a surprise. There'll be some gameplay coming up now. Enjoy.